Welcome to this algebra lesson. I saw this problem on the internet today, and a solution that looked very complicated. A picture was provided with the problem, suggesting variable names. You're better off ignoring it completely. You can Google it by just putting in the search box, Emilio is placing a photograph, and it'll show up. So it turns out Emilio is going to put a photograph behind a matting. This matting is 12 inches by 12 inches. The borders are specified so that the two sides are half as narrow as the top and bottom. And the question is, find the dimensions of this photo if the photo is required to be 54 square inches. Naming our variables is very important in word problems. In this case, it says find the dimension of the photo. We should use those as our unknowns. So I'm going to let x be the width of the photograph. Let y be the height of the photograph. And what should we use for the matting borders? Notice if we just use B for the narrow border, the top and bottom would be 2 times B units wide. Now we can set up equations that relate our unknowns to what's given. Okay, let's use the dimensions of the matting 12 by 12 to find some equations. The total width is 12. That means X plus 2B equals to 12. And it means Y plus 4 times B is 12. What else do we know? We know that X times Y is 54. That was Emilio's strange requirement. So what we have is a system of three equations with three unknowns, x, y, and b. How do we solve three equations, three unknowns? One way is to make it two equations, two unknowns. Get rid of one of the variables. Look at the b. There's a 2b in equation 1, a 4b in equation 2. Imagine if that 2 were a 4, that would make it so much easier. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We take equation 1 and multiply it through by 2. We get 2x plus 4b equals to 24. I'm going to copy equation 2 right below it because we're going to subtract these two equations to get rid of the b's. Subtracting, we get 2x minus y, the 4b's cancelled, equals 24 minus 12. Now we have another equation with just x's and y's. Let's call that equation 4. So equation 3 and 4 together is a system of two equations, two unknowns, meaning we can now solve for x and y. There are many ways to solve these two equations. Let's look for the easiest way. I think the easiest way is to solve for y. See equation 4? It tells us y equals 2x minus 12. We could take that and substitute it into equation 3. That means x times y is now 2x minus 12 equals to 54. At this point we could actually cancel out a 2 from each term. But let me multiply everything out first. We'll get 2x squared minus 12x equals 54. Divide each term by 2. 
we get x squared minus 6x equals 27. To solve for x, we'll have to move the 27 over to the left side. And look, this factors very easily into x minus 9 times x plus 3. That means x is either 9 or negative 3. But x can't be negative here. Our answer is x equals 9. To finish up, we solve for y. y is equal to 54 over x. We get y equals to 6. So there's the answer. The photo is 9 by 6. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Have fun, and I'll see you next time.